Hi, Dan here, and here's another quick tip on goal kicking. Turn your non-kicking shoulder side onto the target. The non-kicking arm is ahead of the body, drawing the non-kicking shoulder forward so that you are side onto the ball. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Ninos. Welcome to Small Blacks TV. I'm your host, Noah Finau. And today in the locker room, we have greatness. Small Blacks, put your hands together for All Blacks legend, Jeff Wilson. Oh, money. That was a party. Nice to be here, mate. Welcome to the locker room, mate. It's great to be here. This looks awesome, eh? I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, before we get to your 44 tries and 60 tests, where did it all begin? Well, I started at a club in Invercargill, actually, uh, the Collegiate Rugby Club. Uh, look at 80th celebrations this year. So, uh, yep, when I was, uh, I think, seven years old, I was down there. There was no ripper in those days. It was straight into trap and tackle. And that's the, that was when the classic, you know, uh, icicles on the field, you know, it's about minus one uh, down there. But uh, great times, uh, great fun, uh, uh, vivid. It's right there. So what are you doing now? I've gone from being a full-time rugby coach to working in the media. So uh, I'm doing quite a bit of commentating for Sky, which is great. Uh, loving, loving doing the games. Uh, I work on the radio full-time uh, Monday to Friday in the mornings, actually doing a radio show. So I talk sport for a living. Hey, I can't get any better than that, sort of six till ten. So yep. uh, early starts, but absolutely love it. Well, someone you would have commentated on in the past is Richard Kahui, and he's coming up now on Cux vs Kids. <laughs> Welcome to Cucks vs Kids, the toughest rugby course in the world. It will take skill, speed, strength, courage, and just a little bit of luck to take down rugby World Cup winning champion Richard Cucks Kahu. Who is a contender and who is a pretender? Let's meet the challengers. Jacob is 12 years old, he packs down on the side of the scrum, and his favourite player is the maestro, Aaron Cruden. He's not the spy, but his name is Johnny English, and he's on the wing like his favourite All Black, Corey Jane. Sean Dugan, he's the young fella. He plays at the back, and his favourite All Black is DC. Jacob, mate, who do you think is going to be the hardest to beat in this race? Johnny here. Yeah. He's in my team, and I know he's the fastest. Pretty quick, eh? So, Johnny, what's going to be the hardest obstacle? Oh, I reckon it's going to be the sit ups and press ups, you know. How's your fitness, mate? Not good. Well,. Breathe, mate. That's all you got to do. Breathe. And Sean, what's your game plan? Um, just to run fast and work hard to do it. My, what's going Richard, on? you look particularly fetching today. Oh, today I'm actually just launching my new line of underwear. We know <gasps> Dan has the jockey, but these are the cack stacks. Now I've got a couple of pairs to give out. Hey, just try these on, boys. Chuck them over your shorts. They're they're really comfortable. They're hole proof. They're skid proof, and they're super streamlined. You should run faster with them on. It feels like you're wearing a warm bath around your waist. They're that comfortable. All right, magic. On your march. Get set, cack stacks. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first. Cack stacks. Hole proof, skid proof. Oh. But will they be enough for him to win his first race of the season? As they make their way through the defender, Cax leads Johnny and Jacob. Well, Richard, they yeah. took some heavy punishment there. Oh. How do the cack stacks feel? And that's the great thing with the cack stacks. You know you'll never put a hole in them. They're stretchy, they're breathable, flexible, comfortable. And if you call within the next 20 minutes on this number 0800 CACDAX, you will get two free pairs of underwear when you buy 15 pairs. That's Can you believe crazy! It? Two free pairs when you buy 15. Two free pairs! Well, the DAX are definitely helping because CAX is flying. Oh, Whoa. and Johnny tries to bring him back down to earth. How oh. did that tackle feel? It just feels that amazing. It feels like. I'm just gliding on my backside. Ah, oh. I might talk to the rowers and see if they want to wear a pair. Oh, um, they're good for all sports then. And actually, they actually feel really light too. Cux oh. finishes his press ups oh. and heads for his first oh, win. What, what's the matter? Oh, but what's just this? A bit, a bit Something seems to be oh. wrong. <laughs> oh, this could be tragic. Some sort of chafing in the lower region. Here come the challenges. Oh. 
Get out of here with your cack stacks! Get down here! Take it in, mate, take it in. Richard, that was amazing. How do they feel? Feels like I've got Bob Marley in the headlock. Ah, oh, cack stacks! They're incredible! <laughs> Jeff, I was the commentator in that race. How do you think I went? Yeah, not too bad. A little bit of improvement needed, but I think it's not long before you're available for us, I think, up at the big time. Gold. Well, mate, you made the All Blacks when you were 19, but you'd already played a couple games for the Black Caps. How and when did you decide which sport to do? Well, it was always a tough decision, because I always thought, I'd, I'd, growing up, I'd be a cricketer. Um, but when the All Black jersey's there and you get an opportunity, you know, it's, it's a national game to play rugby. So, in the end, it was, it was an easy decision, you know, and uh, I loved every minute of it. Well, Small Blacks, we're going to find out a bit more about one of New Zealand's greatest athletes right after Small Blacks on tour. There's nothing better than beating your brother or sister. Whether it's a table tennis game, the champion! Whether it's a basketball game, Woo! nothing it's but net! Nice. Or whether it's a wet fix game, sometimes it feels good to be a bad winner. Meet our two small blacks from Party. Hi, my name is James Cole and I'm 11. Hi, I'm Walter Cole and I'm 11. Yes, you guessed it. James and Walter are twins and they love to compete. So I'm here to put them to the test to find out who the undisputable Cole Twins Rugby Skills Champion is. Here's how they shape up. James is a halfback, weighs in at 40 kgs, is 144 centimetres tall, and once scored seven tries in a single game. Brother Walter plays lock, is 58 kgs, and has a height advantage at 157 centimetres. He rates his size and speed as his most potent weapons. First up, goal kicking. Walter is a left footer like Dan Carter, while James is a righty like Aaron Cruden. And they both nail it like All Blacks. Oh, he nudges it straight through. Oh, he's hooked it. OK, mate, pressure kick. Oh. So there we have it. Our first winner of round one goes to our man James. The passing challenge should be easy for the halfback, but it's the lock who steps up for glory, and it's 1-1. James owned the tackle challenge, but look here. Walter nudges the ball closest to the cone. It's two all. The speed test will decide it. So because you're twins, do people get confused? Oh, not really, because we look quite a lot different. What's the best thing about being a twin? Oh, well... Since we're the same age, we play off each other a lot. How important is fitness in your position? Quite important because you need to try to get try to get to every ruck and blow over and get win the ball back. So speed's a good attacking weapon. What else do you use? Um, side stepping and I use fending and chip and chase. What's the most annoying thing about your brother? Well, he thinks he's Mr. Know It All and he always rubs it in. Probably because he's a halfback. That's what they do. Yeah. OK, enough small talk. It was business time. OK, boys, up next is the speed test. This is how the All Blacks do it with the speed lights. 10 metres. Run it three times, and we're going to average out who has the fastest time. So how are you feeling heading into the speed test? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, because I'm, I'm way quicker than him, so I'll be able to win this pretty easily. <laughs> nah, he's talking rubbish. I think I'll waste them up. We borrowed the All Blacks speed lights to make sure it was 100% legit. It all comes down to this. And the winner is... Now, where did I put those results? Well, boys, thanks a lot for letting me hang out with you today. Awesome time. I lost my score sheet, though, so how about we call it a draw? Yeah, I think that's good. No, I won. I won fair and square. 3-1. 3-1? I, I, can't, I can't actually remember, because you won one, you won one. <laughs> Welcome back, Small Blacks. In the locker room, we have All Blacks legend and Sky Rugby commentator, Jeff Wilson. Jeff, rugby and cricket for New Zealand, you must have great hand-eye coordination. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, let's just see. This could be a real test, I think. Yes, Early well... In the morning, let's go. Come on. Kids, you can try this at home. Two metres away from the wall. Throw and catch, alternative hands. 30 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Go. 
Oh, that's a bad start. Five seconds. And you've got to commentate yourself. Oh, How do you oh, think really? you're going? I'm going. I'm battling. I'm not battling. I'm actually counting. I don't know why I'm counting. I should just concentrate on what I'm doing. Good Back form, though. Throw. Yeah, I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. I'll step it up now. I'm just warming up. Warming up. Got right, 10 hands. seconds to go. I've got 10 seconds. How am I going here? All right. And time! Oh, man. Wait for it. 34! Holy yeah, moly! I had a fumble early on though. I just dropped the bad throw. Oh, happy with that. Happy with that. I'll 34 take it. is you good. Get, you I'm going to give it a go. While you right. watch Small Blacks News. Okay, ready? Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> take Excuse time. me. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That... Right, you ready? Yep. Kia ora, Aotearoa, and welcome to Small Blacks News. I'm your host, Paul Mangasiba, and leading your news today. On this day in 1980, Mrs Mangasiba, my mother, gave birth to the most awesome rugby player the world has ever known. Or oh, that would have been true if I could pass to my left. But I got my hand caught in the cookie jar. Look at these. It's not cool. I would have been an awesome all black. Now we go to our roving reporter, Comrade Snakey Smith. Comrade, you can pass both ways, right? Yes, but I still have to practice. Like DT says, practice makes perfect. True that, Snakey. Great advice. Rock solid. And what's up on the streets today, buddy? Today, I'm in the colours of the Tanifa, Northland. And let's see what the good folks on the street know about it. What provincial rugby jersey am I wearing? <laughs> That's Brian O'Driscoll, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what is New Zealand's northernmost city? Oh, right. Yes, yes. How long is Northland's 90 mile beach? 60 miles. Uh, it's 70. 62 or 72, is it? Close. 55. 55, 55 okay, miles. Yeah. Which of these clubs is not from Northland? Kaio, Openoni, or Tawa? Tawa. Tawa, mate. Tawa. <laughs> you knew that one. Well done. Cheers, mate. You never fail to make me think. Something my teachers could never do. I find that hard to believe. But here's something else to think about. Stay on side, Northland. Jeff, you would have been given a lot of great advice over the years. Has anything stuck with you? Well, one thing's always stuck with me is the fact you can only control what you can do. You don't worry about what the opposition or what someone else is doing. You just work out on your own game, keep working and working and be a big part of a team. Well, another person who always gives good advice is Richie McCaw. Of course. Take it away, Skip. So, Richie, what can I do to get noticed by selectors? Um, well, the first thing is not to worry too much about that, I, I believe. Um, like, if you start thinking about being in teams or getting selected, then you're going to be probably not do the right thing by your team. Like selectors, when they look at look at uh, teams or look at players, they don't often look at who scores all the tries or whatever. They look at the kids that fit into a team the best and, and do well uh, for the team. I think that's what's most important. And, and you should do that every time. So you, you don't worry about the selectors. They'll see when you go out there and do well. But um, it's, it's about having fun. That's the main thing. And if you have fun, you're going to play well and I think that's the best thing to do, is just go out and enjoy your footy and do your best you can, and then that's all you can do. So uh, you don't need to get too, uh, too worried about those sort of things, I don't believe. Don't pass it, Matthew! You score the try! Pin your ears back, go for the corner! Use your fin, Matthew! That's the one! Uh, so what do you reckon, uh, DC, has he got water ticks? I reckon one thing, if he can put up with you three, he can definitely handle test match pressure. Uh. Woo, what did I tell you, even DC reckon he's got to be an All Black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All Black. Small yeah. Blacks rugby is not All Blacks rugby. It's all about having fun. Welcome back, Small Blacks. In the locker room, All Blacks legend Jeff Wilson. Jeff, rugby, cricket, anything else I missed? 
I did a lot of athletics when I was growing up. Actually, I was a shot putter and a long jumper. There's a combination for you. Uh, and played a bit of basketball, to be fair. Well, looky here. Yeah, I know. You still got I, game? You, well, I don't know if I've still got game, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, we'll talk, what are we doing? Well, we'll see how many you can get out of ten. Let's go for one. <laughs> this has been a long time. Are we ready? Here we go. OK, here we go. All Blacks oh, legend, on, Jeff Wilson. Go. I'm commentating here. You're so commentating? You can... I'm giving rim. Oh, I'm not looking Maybe too good right Maybe it's the Lakers. Now. He's shooting yeah, like that. No, no, no. High elbows. You do have your eyes oh, closed. Oh, we're doing no. eyes closed. We're going to count that. I've got a bit of chance. No, I can't. No. Check it here. Small Blacks, you check out Rugger Quiz, and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Did that go in? No, it didn't go in. <laughs> right. Ah, that's no good. Those are last week's questions. Ah, let's get a go. Let's get a go. Accomplished, boss. Good work for once, Robbo. What are those filthy fools up to this week? I don't know, but rest assured something will go wrong and they'll fluff it up and we will win. Hey, I heard that. Hello again and welcome to all you Ruggerland fans to the game with more bites than a great pink sharkaby. Here's your host, Clark Luxon. Hello, welcome to another big day with some dazzling questions on your gorgeous host, Clark Clarkson the third. But let's make the teams. Clark, today we have Green and Mean, Power, Robbo, Squat, and the very cunning Barry. They're up against the delightfully fair Yellow Bellies, Webb, William, Alice, and of course, Rubber! Well, let's get it going with question number one. It should be a cinch. <laughs> In Super Rugby, which team's mascot is Captain Hurricane? Barry, green and mean. I believe the answer you're looking for is 70 metres, Clark. <laughs> I'm not sure you've quite understood the question there, Barry. <laughs> that is wrong, and I'll have to minus 10 points. Bravo. Why is this answer wrong? Sorry, boss, I must have written it down bad. I was in a hurry. Next question is true or false? The All Blacks are the current Rugby World Cup champions. Barry, green and mean. A whale is not a fish. Are you feeling okay, Barry? Yes, perfect. Why? No reason, but that is wrong! The answer was Tiru! What's up with Barry? I recognise those answers from last week. I think they've stolen last week's answers. Robo, I seem to have got another answer wrong! <laughs> Maybe Clark made a mistake. I, I wrote them down, just like you said. Okay, thanks, people. Here's our Tereo teaser. What is the Maldi word for coach? No, Webb, I'm enjoying this. We'll win by doing nothing. Barry, green and mean. The answer is Kiora. I got bad news, Barry. You don't say. The correct answer is Kayako. Robo. What exactly did I say when I sent you on your mission? Well, I, I was a real good boss. You said, steal last week's answers and then win this one. No, Robbo, you imbecile. <laughs> what I said was steal this week's answers at last. We'll win one. <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> I was born in 1985 and went to Strathmore Primary School. I have three brothers and two sisters, and my favourite subject at school was eating my lunch. I first played rugby when I was four years old, but now I am a second five for the Highlanders team. Who am I? I know this answer. It's it's my. What did you say? 
Fellas, Yellow Bellies. Clark, that sounds like all black ma'a nonu to me. Well, let's take a look, shall we? If you guess ma'a nonu, then you are right. And that's a clean sweep for the Yellow Bellies. They take this week. Green and Mean win last week's match a week too late. That's our show. Before we go, kids, take a look at this week's What Am I? If you know the answer, then text it through to 4888 and you can win this amazing Magni Ball. I'm Clark Clarkson. I'll see you again next week. <laughs>10 from 10. Camera tricks as well, eh? Anyway, now you're married to former Silver Ferns captain 18. You got two kids. Two young boys, yeah, three and five, uh, Harper and Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln's three-year-old, um, he's a bull. He, he's he's <laughs> awesome. Uh, he wants to play tackle already. Uh, Harper's actually just started uh, Ripper and, and loves it. So uh, it's great. You know, they, they want to have a ball in their hands. They want to run around just like I did. And... You know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Hard work, chasing them around, um, it's a lot of fun. Well, check this out, mate. A game you could play with them. All Black Skills. Hey, guys. I'm Stephen Lord Tour, and today I'm going to show you an exercise that'll help you with your balance and concentration. Two things you need to be in All Black. It's called Here, Where, There, and if you can master this, you're one step closer to playing like this. That's uh, Fabaro. He made that tackle. Here goes Prudence, uh, giving it away to Gear. Gear belts his way past Abana, still going. Now can he link up? Conrad Smith, off it goes to Reed. The skip is in. You're going to need enough space, some cones or markers, and about four to six players. Start by laying three cones parallel to each other, one meter apart, and on an even surface. Everybody starts by lining up, two feet on the ground, parallel to the middle cone, and that's called wear. Our small backs will show you how it's done. When coach calls out either here or there, the players hop with one leg to that cone. Be careful not to overbalance and fall over. The game continues with the coach calling out more zones. To get from here to there, you're allowed to hop in the wear area before balancing on one leg in the there area. Rugby is all about having fun with your mates. Sign up for All Blacks Camp for Kids. Check it out at abcforkids.co.nz. 105, 102, 103, 104. Hey, Small Blacks, that's us this week. Jeff's trying to break the world record for bouncing a ball on a cricket bat, but we'll see you next week. How many is the record? 5,078. Oh, really? You're nearly there. Is that, oh, I'm really there? Is yep. that, is that the, wow. Hold on, hold on. I'll go Still up going. to the camera as well. I'll go up to the camera. You all see that? All right. Just to prove it. Oh. Oh. Can you do under the leg? Oh, oh. on the back. Wow. So we'll get it going quicker. So we're not here as... I've actually lost count. And it's my favourite. Mm. And hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.